What's up, everybody? As you can see, right with your own eyes, Japan, US, and Australia begin own Belt and Road in the South Pacific. Okay? This was 2019. All right? This is why we have seen what we have seen. Japan, the U.S., and Australia have picked a liquefied natural gas project in Papua New New Guinea as their first case joint financing in the Indo-Pacific region, planning to lend over one billion, Nikki has learned. Three government-backed leaders, Japan Bank for International Corporation, the U.S. Overseas Pirate Investment Corp., and Australia's Export Finance and Insurance Corp plan to issue a statement on Tuesday regarding the joint infrastructure efforts. The three countries agreed in November to join hands in financing infrastructure projects in the Indo-Pacific to offer an alternative to China's Belt and Road Initiative. And what do we see in the news today? You already know. This is an economic war to control the, the, the world, all right? This is what they're not telling you, all right? This is what they're not telling you guys. So, this is a, this is right in your face. And what do you see in the news today? Japan, U.S., and Australia against China. And who else is in there? India, okay? India is in there, all right? Who was being heavily targeted during you-know-what? All right, the New World Order puppets were heavily targeting Australia, India, of course, the United States. All right, Japan, I really don't know about their situation with COVID-19, but it is what it is, guys. Look at the Belt and Road Initiative map. This is what we're seeing. This is the Great War, economic war, threatened with weapons and used economic destruction and weapons. So this is all coming to fruition now. You know, this was back in 2018. So remember the Belt and Road Initiative. And look who just came up and said, 11 hours ago, same people, USA, Australia, Japan, foreign ministers urged China to immediately cease live fire drills. Why Australia, Japan, and the United States? Well, simply look at the Belt and Road Initiative map. Just look at it. And this is as of March 2022, everybody. Look who's not on there. Australia hiding over there in the corner. United States. All right. They're not on there. This is the map. Okay. This is 2022. Look who's not on there. Australia. All right. United States, you know, obviously Mexico's not going to be in it, Canada, Brazil, just look who ain't on the map. So as you can see who isn't on there, and that's exactly what I talked about yesterday, you got Australia, all right, they're not on here, where you see Australia, you see Austria, who else isn't on here, Japan, Japan is not on here guys Japan is nowhere on here so this is why you see the United States Japan and Australia in the news talking about China and they need to cease this and they need to cease that because they are not a part of the Belt and Road Initiative alright which is the new world order okay they're hiding this from the people Okay, and this is as of August 5th, 2022, from the United States Department of State. 
US, Australia, Japan, Trilateral Strategic Dialogue. Remember, they have an agreement with Taiwan and it's against the Belt and Road Initiative and it's a joint effort with India and uh, probably some other nations that's gonna come out. This is why we're seeing what we're seeing. And who else is, who's the Secretary of State? Anthony J. Blinken. Remember I said when he tested positive for COVID-19, he didn't test positive. China, with their mass media reach, put this out there. When you see Nancy Pelosi test positive, that was China again throwing this out there. Okay? And then Pelosi and Blinken, they wake up in the morning, they got COVID-19. Oh, shit. Well, we can't go now. This is what is going on, guys. And Biden tests positive twice in a row because China was keeping him from coming into the region because China was making moves, okay? Making moves. Ukraine war, guys. The Ukraine war with Russia is to slow. It's, it's ran by the United States and the New World Order crew. And it's to slow down China's Belt and Road Initiative. And Russia okay which is in bed with china okay where'd the refugees go to poland to belarus it further slowed the belt and road initiative because now those nations are in in chaos and turmoil all right so it slows china so china said okay well we're gonna go up here and go around and give these nations more, more money and, and we're gonna pitch our thing so as they keep pressing forward what does the united states do all right and also China threatens Taiwan because Taiwan has a deal with who? United States, Australia, and Japan. So this is what we're witnessing today, guys. It is, can't be more clear. This comes from Department of State. What does the United States, Australia, Japan got anything to do with anything? Well, it's because they have their own initiative. They're pitching to us, you know, go green. Meanwhile, their initiative is natural gas. Go figure, right? So anyways, Secretary of State Antony Blinken, Australian Foreign, Foreign Minister Penny Wong, and Japanese Foreign Minister Hay Hay Hayashi Yosh Yoshimasa met in Famfan on the margins of the 55th ASEAN Foreign Minister's meeting. The Secretary and the Foreign Ministers expressed their commitment to deepening the trilateral partnership among Australia, Japan, and the United States to advance a free and open Indo-Pacific region. They highlighted this partnership rests on unshakable foundation of shared interests and values, including the commitment to freedom, rule of law, human rights, sovereignty, and territorial integrity, peaceful settlements of disputes without resorting to the threat of use of force and freedom of navigation overflight. The secretary and foreign ministers reaffirmed their resolve in supporting ASEAN centrally and the imports of the pacific island countries as partners in the region yeah partners for what they're not telling you what they're partners for all right basically what it boils down to the secretary and foreign minister urged the P prc to immediately cease right the military exercises there is no change in respective one china policies where acceptable the basic position of taiwan australia japan or the united states all right this is as of that as I'm making this video, more news comes out supporting exactly what I'm showing you here. So China threat means India, US partnership must grow. There it is right there, guys. This is what is going on. Okay, all these theaters going around the internet, the news is lying to you. They're not talking about this. India, the world's largest democracy, is a natural ally for US the world's oldest all right and who we got in there mike pompeo extreme psychopath right this is india all right right in the news china threats means u.s india partnership must grow this is what they're talking about they're basically telling india like look let's get it they're making moves all right two hours ago india invites u.s singer mary to perform independence day celebration all right why, why all of a sudden is, is India in the news, all right? And, and what's this right here? Look, U.S. to take part in military exercise near India's disputed border with China, all right? 
why India all of a sudden? Why is U.S. going to go over there and chill with India? All right, they're just calling China the big boogeyman. Not, they're not telling the American people that there's a deal, all right, that they're not a part of, and they're trying to make this other deal. China's not playing game and go to war because American people look at that like, listen, I look at the Belt and Road Initiative map. That's what the hell we actually need. Let them do whatever they want to do and let us have all our shit back and stay over here and leave people to fuck alone, all right? This is Saturday, August 6, 2022. U.S. to take part in military exercise near India's disputed border with China. All right. This is the agreement. They're not in. They're not into the Belt and Road Initiative. Point blank. Period. All right. I mean, this is getting interesting by the second. You know. So go figure. So there you have it, guys. This is what's going on. This is what's happening. It's clear as day. Keep your eyes open. Stay up. Pay attention because something is going to come to this, come from this. Because almost three years of a slow down world economy to form this initiative by major players that are actually hand in hand with China selling the United States down the river. If you think for one minute any of these politicians are on your side, high-level politicians, you're wrong. But there are some good people out there. There is a hand fighting who they are. We don't know. All we see is a psycho passing control. And I got a gem for you guys. All you Trumpers that think Trump is for America, Trump is for China. Trump is heavily invested in the Belt and Road Initiative. And Trump has done things for the Belt and Road Initiative that you may not know. As you can see, Trump has been playing the Belt and Road Initiative as well the entire time. As you all know, he had great relations with China. So, Chinese President Xi Jinping Belt and Road Trade Development is always ambitious, has been given a boost by American counterpart Donald Trump, protectionist trade agenda, and isolationist diplomacy. Diplomacy. So there you have it, guys. It's plain as day. And um, like I said, man, this is what's happening, guys. Pay attention. Because it's going to get worse. More is going to happen. And uh, they're just pressing forward. There is opposition. Who it is. In the United States government. Because we know there's two governments in the United States. We know there's two in Russia. We know there's two in China. So. So there you have it. And. um, Trump. Was China's best friend. And now you know why, guys. Peace and love, everybody. Share the video. And please turn off the tele-eye vision.